Hey everyone, my name is Reconix and welcome to Chivalry Medieval Warfare. This is going to be a series of short videos on a catapult guide. Now I know you're like, oh, uh, it's just aim and fire, but I actually know a lot about the, the catapult. It's actually ridiculous how much damage you can do with it. So what I'm going to start off by doing is showing you a few simple spots and teach you the clicks because once you know how many clicks goes where you can pretty much hit anywhere that you want at the time so I'm going to teach you how to aim about here to start oh and by the way yes I'm a dragon I'm flying around that this is fact because <laughs> if you hit here you're stopping the enemy from claiming the wheel now a good tip is when your team starts turning it you want to aim about here because then you will stop enemy reinforcements from being able to assist in re retaking this wheel. After doing this, I will show you how to hit around about along this trail and further along. So I'm just going to get straight to it. Just going to cut to me on the catapult. So see you then. Okay, and I'm on the catapult. Now what we're going to do, we're going to charge up three clicks. One, two, and as soon as you hear the third click, you want to let go. That will take out anyone on the ballista. Then just hold it a little bit longer and you will hit right near enough where the wheel is and you can, you know, you can adjust it so that, you know, just a slight click, you can hit anywhere. Now for the doorway, you, want, you just want to do a nice two. And obviously landing in the doorway, anyone coming that way will get hit as you can see. So that is as soon as you hear two clicks, let go, and if we follow it, anyone coming out is going to get killed. Now, if you know this map, you know that the cart is being pushed along. So, what I like to do is I like to aim in front of the cart and fire. So let's say the cart is heading, it, it's there where I'm looking right now. I will aim around about here, because I'm anticipating Mason to run for it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to charge up four clicks. And that will take out anyone on the bridge. And obviously the cart's going to be moving so you can adjust. Four clicks usually does it. That will also take out anyone on there, mainly archers. And as you can see it's just easy. Just four clicks and just keep moving it along. Now if you want to spawn Camp Mason just do a nice... As soon as you hear four clicks aim about there, that will catch anyone coming out to spawn. Now a strong four clicks will hit even further. Let's see what happens when we go for a full four click. That's going to catch anyone coming out that way. A good one as well is usually when the cart gets stuck, it gets around, it gets really far, and then you, you know that point where it gets stuck because there's just too many masons. Full clicks, and you're going to be hitting about here. And obviously, once again, just adjust. Just about five clicks, you're going to be hitting further in front. It's really useful. Now, this is a trick I have recently found out. The next part of this is destroy the well and kill the peasants. What if you could kill the peasants I mean sorry destroy one of the wells before you even get into the area. Uh, Marsh helped me find this out and I've got to remember where the spot is now. There it is found it! Aim you know just line up the leaves you want to go Three full clicks. And it goes through the wall, but you've got to aim above the second part of the wall, or else it will hit and just, you know, break. So aim it there. Three full clicks will hit that well directly. That trick is amazing. And uh, even further, up there, there will be peasants spawning at the last part of the objectives. So, we're gonna sh I'm going to show you how to hit them. Three full clicks, and you are hitting where the peasants usually spawn. It's so easy. The catapult is amazing. 
and I'm not even done yet. There is still one more spot. You can take out what, uh, the same well I was just taking out with the other catapult. So I'm going to quickly jump to that one and show you how to do that. Okay, I'm on the other catapult. Now, this is relatively easy. Right where I'm looking is where the well should be. I've already destroyed it because... Well, I was doing practice shots just to make sure I had my clicks and aiming under under control. So what you want to do, aim for that bit of wood. You see just above my my crosshair, there is that piece of wood that's just right in the middle. You want to aim directly for that. You want, As soon as you hear the fifth click, let go. Two, three, four, five. Now what this is going to do, it's going to go completely over and land right next to the well. And it'll probably take out a few peasants as well. A good thing to do, if there's still a few stragglers of peasants, which there usually is by the well, is aim directly between the pillar. You see the two pillars, there's a little gap, you want to aim directly for there, and once again, the same five clicks. Now this is going to go in between the pillars, and kill the close range peasants, and as usual, you can just adjust the click by making it a little bit stronger. So one, two, three, four, five, and I left it a little bit longer this time. And that'll land right at the back and take out possibly any more peasants that were remaining there. So yeah, that's going to be pretty much the complete guide for the Drunken Bazaar catapult guide. If you, lo if you did enjoy and find it helpful, please leave a like and please comment on what other catapult maps you would like me to l have a look at. Cause I know a lot of spots already, but you know I want I want to know what you want to see because you know <laughs> this is helping you. I already know these these catapult like tips, if you will. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and and or subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. And I'll see you all on the battlefield. Take care.